Hello and welcome back to Fusion 360 Game Basics. Today let's just talk about how can we create the setup for this part and finally we will create the uh, toolpath. So let's just go to the manufacturing mode. Click on setup and uh, let's just tell the machine uh, to set the manufacturing coordinate system. What's actually we call it is the machine zero. And then we will go to select the model and finally we will go to define the stock. It's simply forward and it's not very difficult. Uh, this time I'm going to do the milling operation and right now uh, if you're happy with your manufacturing coordinate system in this case if you just want to put uh, uh, this part on machine in this way so you are okay because this is the z-axis and uh, z-axis must be upward and this is the x-axis but if you want to uh, put uh, this model on the machine in this way so then you are on the, uh, on the wrong way right uh, so let me just uh, orient the x y and z axis and I'll always prefer you to select the second option click on x axis and detect that this is my x axis so the rest of the two axes will automatically uh, adjust and z axis must be upward right so I'm just happy I'll just like the model this is my model uh, and I'm happy with all I'm sure the box point right um, if you click on the box point so then you can just put your machine zero anywhere like somewhere here here or anywhere you just want always I am preferring to keep it at the uh, model top at center okay so that uh, the operator will uh, zero the part really very quickly and simply forward right then go to the stock and I'm just define the blank or the raw material for this uh, model to be machine uh, this time relative size box is uh, selected I'll go for the effect size box and right now i'll go and go for the reset uh to system default right i'm just happy and if you go and define uh the 41 uh okay uh it is this one the length of the box and the height is 10. uh okay it's okay for me uh for now uh i'll just hit okay now I just uh, did my uh, manufacturing coordinate system and I just adjusted. I just define the machine zero, define the model and define the stock. Next what I can do I will just go for the operation type. Uh, so this is a prismatic part because the cutting models are parallel to the axis and I can just uh, play around with the 2D uh, milling operations. I will go for the 2D pocket. Uh, first thing which comes in mind is just to go and select the tool. Uh, because before going to the operation, you must define the tool. I'll click on the new and go for the flatten mill. And I'll go to the cutter and define the uh, parameters, especially the diameter. I will go for the add mm diameter tool. I will accept it and I will select it. Now the tool has been selected. You can do the dry machining as well as the 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 moist machining, right? I will choose the flood. Uh, and feed and speed, uh, I'll just keep it to the default present, okay? Uh, once you go and select the custom one, I will choose the 1200 and the Fusion 360 will automatically uh, adjust the rest of the things uh, like cutting feed rate, frame feed rate, plunge feed rate, right? And all these things. Uh, the next thing is just to define the geometry. Uh, this time I'm just going to select the pockets. Either you can go for the pocket recognitions, the Fusion 360 will automatically detect the multiple pockets either by just selecting uh, that surface, okay? But this time I have only one pocket, I'll go for the pocket selection and select the pocket. I just want to go for this pocket and I'll just keep it the tangency and either you can go and select the contour. Uh, this time I don't want to, uh, to allow the tool to go uh, anywhere and I'm just restricting the tool to be having inside this and rest machining I just want to finish it at once uh, right to path tool orientation it will probably uh, parallel to z-axis uh, which is the work coordinates uh, system and then I will go to uh, define the heights uh, clearance height uh, it's okay for me if you want to decrease it is it allow me okay 5 mm the retract height and uh, retract height uh, where the tool will retract from the uh, cutting position feed height 5 mm top height is 0 mm 
bottom height 0 mm right all these things are okay and now you have to go and uh, add some passes right uh, the passes torrents is it will automatically take 0.1 and sideway compensation left or right uh, you can just deal with them maximum cutting radius probably the radius of this pocket will be the maximum cutting radius finish pass I will add one finish pass right after the roughing and the step over uh, the time I'll just keep it four and and then I'll just uh, go and click on the multi depths right maximum rough uh, step down I'll keep it the 1 mm which is the depth of cut and stock leaves I don't want to leave any stock for the re roughing operation I'll just go and we'll keep it 0 0 right and feed optimization uh, okay once you click on the feed optimization it will optimize the uh, the, the cutting fees to the optimized level and Roughing. I don't want to be to do any roughing operation, so I'll just go and hit OK. So the Fusion 360 will just create the toolpath for me, uh, which is here. All right. You can go and just uh, simulate your toolpath. Uh, okay. See, in this way, your tool will do cutting, and we'll just create the uh, the design model for you. Uh, Alright, uh, once you're done with this, uh, then you can click and go for the pass processor from here. Uh, you can go and click on the action and go for the pass processor. As I told you earlier, pass processor is nothing, it's just to define the specific microcontroller, the machine that you have. Uh, I'm just going to create the pass processor for this simple operation, which is the 2D bucket. Click on the setting and I'll just go to use the machine configuration. It's like the three axis machine given by the Autodex uh, uh, library and the post processor post is over here uh, you can go and select the post processor uh, like like the way it want to be uh, you, you, you can have different kinds of machines uh, local uh, length fusion 360 library probably you will select from here the milling one right you can have different machines uh, configurations over here define the program number and finally uh, the program name output folder where you want to save uh, your uh, your file G codes right uh, this time I have an education license so I'm able to create the G codes right uh, like uh, as I'm doing in NX right uh, once we have an uh, NX software and this time what you can do you can simply wait for a few minutes and it just gets loading but this is how I'm just telling you that, that this is the game basics right uh, you should know about the the game basics and okay this is my path in NX and I think we have a couple of operations applied over here once I click over here and this is actually the operation I'll go for the pass processor and I'll go for the three axis and when I say okay so this time this is a correct software so it just allowed me to create the G codes this is the sample G code you will save it somewhere here and we'll go to the operator to run on the real time manufacturing so hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you're new on my channel so please make sure to subscribe to just uh, just getting some of the uh, informative videos from my channel. So thanks for watching, best of luck and keep watching.